Hi there everybody again, um, not going to lie, this is a bit of a long video, so feel free to stop and pause it, come back to whatever you need to do to get there. However, I'm going to try and keep it as best I can to 20 minutes, and hopefully by the end of it we'll know our two times table. Now, the thing is, you might know it by the end of the video, but you'll probably end up forgetting bits here and there, and that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine, it's totally normal. Memorising your times tables takes a lot of practice. However, what's more important than memorising your times table is actually understanding what's going on. What is multiplication? Why do we need to know it? How does it work? So hopefully that's what this video is going to take you through. Uh, I'm going to look at kind of what we call a concrete pictorial abstract a way of learning. That means we look and we work with actual blocks, then we look at pictures, and then we move on to actual numbers. Okay, so are you ready? Two times table, here we go. Now, what's that symbol? Sure, we all know that that is the add or plus symbol. It's for adding things together. So, for example, one add one is two. We know that. This symbol, do you want the mathematical name for that symbol is? Many people, I'm sure, will say take away, and that's absolutely fine. It is take away. It's actually subtract. Subtract means to take away. So five take away one is four. Or five subtract one is four. Now this symbol might be new to some of you. Some of you might be like, I've seen that before. This is the multiplication symbol, or sometimes people say times, times. What does it mean? Could you describe it? Hmm. Well, I'm going to see if I'm going to give you a wee example here. Let's see if it makes a little bit more sense. Here we've got Blair jumped three meters. So there's me. I've jumped three meters. Now I've got Blair jumped three metres two times. So I've jumped three metres and then another three metres. What I've done is I've multiplied my jump by two. I've times it by two. So I jumped three metres, then I jumped another three metres. How many metres did I jump altogether? Six. Three out of three, six. Could do it again. Blair jumped three metres three times. Three, six, nine. Multiply is when we make a duplicate of something. Another way to think of it is repeated addition. So here we're thinking about the two times table now, and I've got this is a way to build with blocks. And if you've got Lego, Lego blocks, oh, let me just grab them here Lego blocks or cubes or anything like that at home. Okay, I've got some, some wee cubes here. Okay. You can actually use those to build the two times table. And you can see there that two times one is two. It's one group of two. Two times two is actually two add two. So we get four cubes. Two times three, it means two add two add two. Add two three times. This is why when people say multiplication, sometimes also people say times. Add two three times. And then 2 times 4 is 2, add 2, add 2, add 2. So you might want to pause the video now. If you've got, look at this, I've got a big pack of loads of stuff and an old Christmas lights thing. <laughs> but if you've got like um, cubes or Lego bricks or counters, or you could even just cut out bits of paper, that's probably a good way to do it as well, to cut out bits of paper. Can you build the 2 times table all the way up to 2 times 10? Have a go. Now, if you get that, if you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense to me, I'm starting to get the idea now, we can actually move on to what we call arrays. Arrays are a way to visualise a number, um, especially a way to visualise a times table. So, for example here, if I have, oh, let me come this way then, if I have 2 times 3, let's see, there we go, I'll come a bit closer, sorry, 2 times 3, what that really means is 2 groups of three. So I could have one group of three, two groups of three. And then to find the answer to two times three, I just count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One group of three, 
Two groups of three equals six. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Do you know that's my snack? I was about to try and rub this off with. <laughs> okay, let's do another one dead quick. Uh, let's do two times five. So it means two groups of five. So one group of five, two groups of five. There we go. And then to find the answer, I could just count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two times five is ten. So we challenge for you. Can you draw for me the array for two times four? Go for it. Give it a go. Two times four. So I'm thinking two times four. Okay, and that means it's two groups of four. So one, two, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, got that done. If you haven't paused the video, wait till you're ready. Ready does it look like ah, two groups of four. Two groups of four, and then all together we count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Answer is eight. Two times four is eight. So arrays are a really good way to visualise the number. And if you're ever stuck and you're like, oh, two times seven, I can't remember what that is. That's absolutely fine. Can you draw it as an array? Can you show two times seven? Okay. Magic. Now, if, again, if we've got that, now we can maybe move on to actually looking at the numbers. But if not, stay here and practice. Um, this is what we call a hundred square. Um, it's a really good way to look at number. And here what I've done is I've highlighted the two times table. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And you can see that it makes a very blocky kind of pattern, doesn't it, on the hundred square. Uh, this becomes more interesting when you start to look at the three times table, the four times table, and you can compare the different patterns. But for now, it's a good way to kind of get that idea that basically in the two times table you're skipping a number, aren't you? Start on two, skip three, four, skip five, six, skip seven. So just another way to think and another way to look at the number and look for patterns. Right, are we ready to do some real times table in then? This is what I call a times table stick. It's a good way for you to remember your times table. So we're looking at the two times table. What's the times table? It's two. What would two times 10 be? Multiply it by 10. 2 times 10 would be 20. What is half of 20? I've got 20. Cut it in half. Let me just have a wee. Here we go. I've got two tens. Two tens. That's 20. 10, 20. If I half it, what have I got? You're right. 10. Can you say that then? Can you go 2? 10, 20. Your turn. 2, 10, 20. Excellent. Right. Double 2. 2, double it. You get 4. Double 4. Double 4 is 8. Oh, and now can you double 8? Eight? 8 add 8. Double 8 is 16. And can you see that actually that goes along with 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8 when we come to the multiply at the top as well. Anyway, let's go for it. We've got 2, 4, 8, 10, 16, 20. You say it. 2, 4, 8, 10, 16, 20. Can we go back the way? 20, 16, 10, 8, 4, 2. Your turn. 20, 16, 10, 8, 4, 2. Magic. Good stuff. Right, okay. <gasps> Triple two. That means two add two add two. Triple two is six. Can you double six? Double six. Six add six. Where would it be? Yeah, it would It'd be there. Double six is twelve. And you can actually see that that was times three is six. Double three, you get a six as well. So we're there. Magic. Right, okay. 9. 2 times 9. Actually, here's an interesting thing. Anything multiplied by 9 will always add up to 9. So, for example, just with that one there very quickly, 
Where have I put my whiteboard? I keep putting things all over the place. Very quickly, look at this. Right, so 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, 2 times 9 is 18. But if we add these two digits together, it will always equal 9. 1 add 8 is 9. Hmm. Now, I'll just show you that this is actually the case, okay? You probably won't know this yet. Maybe you do. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. 3 add 6 is 9. So whenever you multiply a number by 9, the two digits will always equal 9. So that's an easy way to remember. 2 times 9 is 18, because 1 add 8 is 9. Okay, do we want to count up then? We've got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20. Your turn, you do it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20. Can we go back down the way now? Start at 20. We've got 20, 18, 16, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Now, last one. 2 times 7. You'll never remember it. You just won't. I'm sorry. You know what? I've, I've, got, I've taught some of the best mathematicians ever. They're fantastic. Seven times table is so hard. You'll never remember it. You won't. So I'm going to show it to you, okay? But don't worry. If you don't, it's fine. It's fine if you don't get it. But you think you could get it? So you can. Okay, well, here you go. Two times seven is 14. I'll say that again. Two times seven is 14. What's two times seven? 14. What does that get? Two times seven is... 14. Excellent. Right, okay, let's count up then all together. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Can you do it slowly like a robot? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Very good. Can we go back down? Uh, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Fantastic. What's 2 times 7 again? 14. Yeah, see, I told you. I needed it up. You needed to look, eh? And that's fine. You won't remember 2 times 7 is 14. You just won't. 2 times 7, 14. It's too hard. You won't get it. Okay? That's fine, though. No, don't worry. I think you're doing a really good job. Right. Are we ready to start to cover up some of these numbers? Okay, let's see. Can you remember the 2 times table? What's the 2 times table again? Oh, sorry, what times table is it? It is 2. What's 2 times 10? And what's half of 20? 10. Very good. Right, let's count it up then. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Very good. Right, okay. Double 2 is 4. Double 4. Eight and double eight. Eight add eight. Sixteen. Right, okay, let's go for it then. From the beginning, we've got two, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, eighteen, twenty. Very good. Can we go backwards? Can we start at the top? Two times ten. Let's go for it. Twenty, eighteen, fourteen, twelve. Six, two. I hope we're getting there. Okay, you can always rewind. Yeah, like, oh, I forgot that one. Just rewind, have a wee look at it again. Okay, you can make this at home yourself as well. Just do it on cards. Okay, just do it on card, and you can flip the cards over. And then if you still need to look at them, flip them back the way. That's one way to do it. Right, let's try this then. Okay, what's triple two? That means two, add two, add two. Six. Can you double six? Double six. Magic, yeah. Really, really good stuff. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Good stuff. Can you go backwards? Three and twenty, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, ten, one, two, two. Good stuff. Again, if we're getting stuck, just go back. It's very difficult to do this over a video, but we're giving it a go anyway, aren't we? Right, okay. What's the rule for 2 times 9? Again, or any number times 9. What's the rule? 
Remember, it's that the two individual digits will always add to 9. So, for example, 2 times 9 is 18. 1 add 8 equals 9. Yeah, OK, so we can cover that one up. I think we got that one. I'm not going to cover it up 2 times 7. I'm not going to cover it up because 2 times 7 is 14. And you won't remember that 2 times 7 is... Oh, I've forgotten. What is it? 2 times 7 is... That's 14. Yeah, it's right there. I should have just looked. 2 times 7 is... Are you shouting at the screen? Do you want 2 times 7 covered up? Do you think Do you think it's... Right. Fine. Fine. It's okay if you don't remember 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, but I'll cover it up anyway for you. There you go. Right then. Here we go. Can we do it all together? Okay. I'll click. I'll count you in. Okay, can you do it on the clicks? One, two, three, and two, four, eight, ten, twelve, four, six, twenty. How did you get on? Did you do all right? Okay, let's try. Can we go back the way? Can we start at two times ten? Two times ten is twenty. Ready? One, two, three, and twenty. 18, well, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Well, there we go. Right, okay, so this times table stick, you can make your own one at home, just out of card and just flip the cards around. That's absolutely fine, okay? You can rewind this video, just watch it a few more times. Do you remember as well that if you sometimes forget and that's absolutely fine. Times tables, you can always draw it as an array. So, for example, 2 times 3 means 2 groups of 3. 1 group of 3, 2 groups of 3. Okay, way to look at it. So, 2 times 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you can always draw your times tables as an array. Mm -hmm. um, using the times table stick helps to remember. And if you've got cubes at home or Lego bricks or that, you could build the times table to show that 2 times 3 is repeated addition. It's two add two add two. Two add two three add two <laughs> two three times, sorry. Goodness me. I tell you what, doing these videos online is very difficult. It's much easier in class when we can bounce off each other, isn't it? Anyway, I hope this was useful for you. I uh, hope it was uh, it's helped a little bit. You can always revisit this video, maybe even every day just to go through it. And a wee challenge I like to do, another good way to think about number is if you've got a partner, that's good. If you've got a mum, dad, carer, brother, sister, even if you don't get on with them <laughs> in the house, what you can do is play a wee challenge. If you get a selection of things, cubes are good because they're all... Oh, there we go. So difficult to put this in the camera. Cubes are good because they're all the same size. But if you could use grapes, you could use uh, bits of cardboard, you could use coins, so long as they're all the same coins, so lots of one pences or lots of pound coins, whatever it might be. Anyway... You pick a number in the two times table, be it two, four, eight, ten, whatever, and you close your eyes and the person puts those cubes in your hand. And then feeling around, you've got to feel. What what does that feel like? What is that? That's one, two, three. So I've got three at the moment. That's not in the two times table, but still. It's really important to be able to understand number, to get a really good conceptual understanding that means don't just remember the numbers you actually understand them and a good way to do that is to get a feel for a number as well so put it in your hand what does two times two feel like what does two times four feel like what does two times six feel like just a wee thing to give a go as well okay two times table good luck with it uh, yeah let me know how you get on